and they lived happily ever after. Of course, fairy tales don't always line up with reality. A lot has happened in Fairyland, and I've seen it all. Now it's time for you to learn the real story. Once upon a time, I received a letter. Godmother, it's me, Cinderella. I wrote to you today. Could you let me in? I need to tell you something and ask for your advice. Let me in, please. A lot of familiar characters are living happily under Fairyland's wing. Snow White and her dwarves established their own diamond mining company. And the Snow Queen made a lot of money on ice cream production. In the dire times, it was difficult to survive without protection. Fairy godmothers became the light, shielding their wards from the harsh reality. In the Academy of Fairy Godmothers, young fairies read books on potions, learn to control their wands, and lead their protégés across the bridge over the River of Sorrows. I followed the traces of the best godmothers to protect my granddaughter Cinderella from death, diseases and mistakes, and lent her a hand in hard times.
Thanks for seeing me. My problem is that I fell in love with Prince Adam and I just don't know what to do. He's so noble and charming and me? Well, you know, he could never love me back. How can I charm him? We're sorry to interrupt you, ladies. Ministry of Discipline, Peacemaker Dodge. We need to search the room, Fairy Godmother. Here's the search warrant. This won't take long. That's it. That glass slipper matches the one from the bank robbery. Looks like we finally found our criminal. Fairy Godmother, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Your belongings will be confiscated, including your wand. And don't even think about using magic. Fairy Godmother? You're behind the robberies? How could you? Goodwin, please help. I've been arrested. Good evening. I'm Detective Goodwin. The agency sent me. I need to interrogate the suspect. In private, please. Hello, Fairy Godmother. I can't believe they put you here. I believe you're innocent, and someone framed you. The Peacemakers received an anonymous call about you from the dorm. Go over there and see what you can find out, but check the security cameras first to sneak out. You can get out of here while my partner, Moner, is at lunch. Take my car. It's in the backyard. Don't worry, I'll cover you. Here, take this with you. Thank you. 
Robber, please help! Thanks, Fairy Godmother. I'm Charlotte. I'm so glad to see you free. I read today's newspaper, but I didn't believe what it said about you, of course. Everyone in the dorm is talking about that anonymous call. Why don't you go to the manager's office and check the call records? Maybe it'll help you find out who framed you. I'd better go home. I'm pretty shaken. Here, use it to get around the dorm. Breaking and entering and destroying evidence? Nobody will believe you're innocent now. Someone's in the office. Come on, don't let them get away. short it out again. Maybe we should finally call an electrician.
fairy godmother? It's not what it looks like. It's my stepdaughter, Cinderella, framed me. I have nothing to do with this crystal shoe. <laughs> Sweet revenge. Yes, fairy godmother. It's your fault that I became the criminal known as the Glass Slipper. You never wanted to fulfill my wishes. But you know what? I will marry Prince Adam, even if I have to kill his bride. I'll use the charming potion to make him fall in love with me. He'll forget everything, and I'll take all his money and power. You'll never stop me. Fairy Godmother must still be out. Aren't you taking this too far? After all, Stephanie is your stepmother. She got what she deserved. She never really loved me. You aren't thinking of crossing me, are you, Gary? Don't forget who has the power here. Make sure Fairy Godmother won't ruin our plans. I must go. I have a lot to prepare before I marry the Prince. Okay, okay. You're the boss. Don't worry, Fairy Godmother. I won't hurt you. My name is Gary. I was a successful businessman before I was cursed to become a beast. I've known Cinderella for a long time. She was the first girl who wasn't scared of me and even helped me deal with my curse. I fell for her, but I can't provide for her since I'm no longer rich, so she chose to ignore my feelings. Cindy is a good person in her heart, but she's making the wrong choices right now. I hope you can help her. No! I forgot to take the antidote! The curse! I can't control it! Please help!
Thank you. That was close. Cinderella took my old yacht to see the king of the fairyland. She has an airtight plan to marry the prince, but there may still be time. You can catch her in my airboat, but you'll have to fix it. I'll contact my friend at the magic department and try to get you a new wand. Here, you may need this. Good luck. I've examined this from every possible angle, and nothing will stop me from marrying Adam. I can't wait to buy myself a real yacht. <laughs> This potion... The potion of true love is mine. Now, 
I just need the blood of Adam's family to make it work. The kings will do. He's easy enough to get to. The next step is to eliminate his security. A powerful sleeping mixture will take care of that. I knew I couldn't trust that weakling Gary. Let me be, Godmother. You refused my wish for prosperity, so you don't get to stop me from doing it myself. The King's blood is the only ingredient I need to complete the potion work. So stay out of my way, or I won't hesitate to put you down for good.
My name is Susan. I'm the secretary to His Highness, King Leopold, CEO of the Royal Guild, Inc. Can I help you? I'm sorry. His Majesty is busy helping Prince Adam select a partner, so he's only taking meetings with the press. You're from Principalitan Magazine? Why didn't you say so? That's my favorite! Please, come on in. Would you like some water or tea? What?! Your Highness! He may be dead! The last visitor brought that flask with her. It was a pretty girl. I think her name was Cinderella. She was asking for an invitation to the prince's matchmaking party. She insisted on preparing the king's coffee herself to demonstrate her skills as a housewife. I let a stranger prepare something for him. What have I done? Look, I press the panic button and the peacemakers are on their way. You should go before they arrive. Hopefully our healers can revive the king.
so glad to finally meet you in person, Prince Adam. I must say, you look even better in person than in your Principalitan article. Here, let's drink to our first meeting. Actually, I prefer to live a healthy, fit lifestyle, but if you insist, thank you. This champagne is as exquisite as you are beautiful. Why don't we leave this noise for a quiet walk in the park? Sorry, the park is for VIPs only, but we're mighty. Good evening, madam. I hope you're enjoying the party. Have you met my bride-to-be, Cinderella? She left to find some fruit, but she'll be back soon. Oh, I must introduce you. She's adorable. Potion worked. The prince is head over heels in love. It's only a matter of time before he begs me to marry him.
Where's my dear Cinderella? I love her so much. I must propose to her before someone else does. So, Fairy Godmother has finally paid a visit to her old friend Merlin, eh? How have you been? Ah, the true love potion. Yes, Cinderella asked me for it. She said it was to study. She used it on Prince Adam, but it's still experimental. I haven't explored its side effects. Oh dear, I couldn't imagine Cindy would deceive me. It seems she stole the antidote, too. We must learn where she and Adam are now. Please, help me find my clairvoyant sphere.
I could have guessed they're in the king's palace. They're organizing a fancy dress party, so you should prepare too. Use my brand new teleportation booth to get there quickly. Just enter the address. I'd party with you, but I have work to do. Here, this might help. Hello, would you like a drink? Oh, you can't get to the balcony? All the guests received special keys to get up there. If you lost yours, I could get you a copy, if you do something for me. I've never been so busy at a party. Drinks are selling like there's no tomorrow.
What's going on here? Who are you, and why are you standing near me? I'm so confused. You ruined everything again, Godmother! Adam and his riches were almost mine, but I have nothing to lose now. You made me do this. Cindy, wait! Stop it! Think of what you're doing! I'm okay. It's only a flesh wound. I rushed here when I heard about the wedding. I wanted to stop her before she made a bigger mistake. I couldn't get your wand, but I have its base. I believe you can assemble it and get Cinderella back to her senses. You're her fairy godmother after all. Here. desire for glamour and riches controlled my mind. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I promise I will change, Fairy Godmother. I'll make you proud of me. In the end, it wasn't a perfect fairy tale, but Cinderella went down a long and difficult road and made it through the second chance. Did she use it? Well, that's another story.